Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm right on my hands is Bulls of Beacon Hill, number five, wrapping up the series. It's written by Steve Orlando, Andy McDonald's the artist, Lorenzo Scaramella is the colorist, and Carlos M. Manguel's the letterer. This is good. It's very, very, very good. I think this was a fantastic ending. So the story is about this guy named uh, Chris, who is a doctor who's going to go run for city council in, in uh, Boston. His father is the head of or a mobster, a really well-known mobster. Uh, Chris is also gay, and his father is embarrassed uh, to let that be known. Uh, he thinks that's going to impact him being a mobster, uh, and puts out a hit on his son, which then forces the son to kind of like have to deal with his mobster father and and just accept this part of his life that he's been trying to hide. So uh, in the end, like I, I really really like this. It's so it's a interesting story. I think it's just a solid crime, uh, like a violent crime story. It's interesting reading in the back. Uh, Orlando talks a little about it. It's, it he riffs the, riff the story off of a true story where there was a mobster who's who tried to who tried to uh, snuff out kill his, his gay son because of he was embarrassed by him. So it's kind of riffs off of that. Uh, but beyond that, I think really that part of it is kind of the. Uh, just the driver of the story. It's it's what gets it going as opposed to like really being what the story is about in many ways. Um, you know, you, you can say that the story, the overall story has, has kind of a coming out aspect to it where Chris needs to accept his life and, and really be the full uh, person he is um, and deal with, you know, this, his father and this past. Um, so in that way, you know, it kind of uh, plays off the, the, the coming out story of, of so many LGBT people that they have to experience. But really, I think beyond that, like, it's just a straight up crime story. I mean, you, you could, you know, get rid of that and just his father being embarrassed by his do good or son. Uh, and that could have been the impetus of it all. Like, that, that would have been totally fine and really wouldn't have changed much in the story. Um, but I think overall, it's, it's just really good. Like, if you like crime, if you like that, like, violent crime, I forgot, like, how Steve Orlando puts it. Like, he just, I think it, he puts it up really, really well. Like, there's a father-son rivalry that's, rivalry that's really good. Um, yeah, it's like, I was trying to think, just, I, I, uh, rah, 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 I'm trying to find it. But yeah, it's, it's just a solid, solid story. Yeah, uh, make a crime. But yeah, I mean, I just think it's a, a you know, the, the, the fight's there, the ending is, is solid, is how it goes. Um, the, the, like, rawness of the battle is really good. I think the finale of it's really good, and it's got some potential for maybe going somewhere else with it all. Um, it's just, it's just a good finale for this story. Like, overall, I really, really liked it. Like, it's just, you know, I don't know, it reminds me of, like, good stuff mob stories that I like, like, you know, Goodfellas and a Casino and, you know, Godfather and all that stuff. Like, it's just solid work on it. Um, so, yeah, like, I don't, I don't know how else to sell it. Like, if you if you like those type of stories, you like crime stories, you're going to dig this. Uh, it's out now in comic shops. We got a link beneath this video. Open your zip code or tell the comic shops near you. No shot, no problem. We do have some links where you can purchase your own. Actually, I, did I show off the art? Let me show off the art. As I said, I like the art. The art has a really gritty grittiness to it. Before we get to the, the pitch at the end, let's get to the art aspect. And it just really fits. There's like a rawness to it, uh, story-wise. I think the art, art covers really, really well. So yeah, um, as I was saying, you can go get this. <laughs> we got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code. Tell the comic shops near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some links where you can purchase it. There'll be affiliate links so we can get a small percentage. By doing that, you'll support our site. And speaking of support, I want to thank Aftershock for putting us up with the review copy. And, of course, thank you all for watching. If you're into comics, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, Mastodon, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games. 
you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.